it's scary at first, especially injecting yourself. You're like, oh my God, what if I blow my vein up? Da, da, da. But the, the need to use the drug overrides all that. Oh yeah, so I didn't. I ended up not You're getting clean with shooting, Suboxone. You were yeah, shooting so I started shooting oxycodone because just snorting, a, snorting oxycotton and Roxy's wasn't enough anymore. So I had started shooting it, which was I was one of like the first in like my friend group, my like our you know whatever to start shooting. So it was weird. How do you even figure that out? What to shoot? Yeah, I mean it's a pill. So I so how I did it, it. I was yeah I was hanging out with this kid who actually the first thing I ever had shot in my life was cocaine to be honest. I was hanging out with this kid and we were, you know, snorting pills, whatever. And he, he had, was shooting pills. Well, I didn't want to shoot pills, but I, he, I was like, he's like, well, try cocaine. So I shot cocaine. Well, then after that, I was like, you know what? Now I want to try shooting pills. And then, yeah, you just dissolve it. But somebody teaches you, right. you know, you just find out how. It's scary at first, especially injecting yourself. You're like, oh my God, what if I blow my vein up? Da, da, da. But then the need to use the drug overrides all that fear. Yeah. yeah. So it, it overrides it. So it, that's, I just, I went there. And I started dating a guy who was 17 years older than me at that time. I was 19 probably at this time. Um, I had done like a, I had gone to jail for like six months for some misdemeanors for petty thefts. And I did like six months for that. And I got out and started dating this guy who was 17 years older than me. He did pills, went to the doctor, all that. And um, he would write fake prescriptions. So I was with him and we would, he would buy the blank prescription paper and we right. would, he would take them to somebody to print them out. Well, I was with, and he would pay them for it. Well, this I was, is before they had the, the federal, that or the, the system. Way before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is so when. you could doctor shop. You and, could doctor shop. This is when I, and I specifically remember this. It was in 2011. I remember reading an article that Rick Scott said that we could not afford that system in Florida to link the pharmacies. But we were one of the only states who did not have it. Right. Which is absolutely insane. Right. Absolutely insane. How, what do you mean we can't afford it? <laughs> this was after he got his, his <laughs> entire healthcare system got indicted and mm -hmm. paid that massive fine. And then he becomes the, the uh, governor of Florida. And yeah. And says that we can't afford a pharmaceutical company to stop doctor shopping and fucking. Right. And know. I actually knew a guy who bought one of the hospitals that they owned. Oh, wow. And they continued to just do business the same way. And then uh, two years later, they got indicted. Oh, wow. And he ended up going to prison for like five years or something. I seen a lot of when I was in jail waiting to go to prison my first time or no my second time I seen they were bringing a lot of doctors and a lot of girls in and to tell on doctors and pharmacies and everything and bring them all down. So yeah, but uh, the guy that owns it never he doesn't get it's no, always lower. they pay a fine and run for governor. <laughs> it's crazy. So anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So um yeah so we. I started dating him and I went with him one time when he was getting the scripts printed. And when I seen the girl doing it, I was like, I can fucking do that. I don't need to pay her $50 a script to do this. Right. So we bought the, at the time you could buy prescription paper online and have it delivered right to your house. A hundred sheets wow. or a hundred sheets, four scripts per sheet, 50 bucks, nothing. Right. You know, you can make, that's what, 400, 400 scripts or whatever, you know? So... We, we did that, and, we, and so I started printing on myself. Well, when we started printing on myself, at the same time, my boyfriend was also doctor shopping. So he was seeing eight doctors a month, plus we were writing fake prescription in his name, my name, and then other people. So he's making a, 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 that's a, that's a bunch of money. It's a bunch of money, but we're also using. Right. You know, he's doing nine and ten pills in a shot. You know what I mean? And I'm doing four or five, you know, whatever. So it's it's a lot. Like... Believe it or not, like it's crazy. I want to be like, yeah, it's a lot of money. We made a lot of money. We had a lot of no, shit, but we were barely up. paying our fucking rent. Right, right. You know what I mean? Barely paying rent. Rent at that time was eight fifty for a three bedroom house. Right. You know what I mean? And we're barely barely making that because of our habits. So we did that for a long time, and we had, you know, we had the whole setup. I had a fucking calendar at the house, and it would say this doctor, and we only use this pharmacy. So then, you know what I mean? So every month we were doing that. Well, then eventually you meet pharmacists who are going. for real, you know, right. like the, the expo boards and shit. So eventually you meet pharmacists and stuff like that who are dirty. And then you just start buying scripts from them straight right. out without, without any prescription. I met a pharmacist and really you just approach them, you know, and they can either say yes or no, you yeah. know? And so we approached them. We asked them if we could just start buying bottles, which a bottle would be a hundred, a, a, you know, a pharmacy bottles is a bottle of a hundred pills. Right. And uh, he was like, yeah. So he would sell them to us for cheaper, but he would only let us have a certain amount a month. 
Yeah, but it's also monitored. So, like, what's he doing? Just shorting somebody a pill have, or two here? I have here, no idea. Of- he would tell us, we, you, I can only sell you nine bottles a month. That was it. Because that's probably what he figured out. That's the yeah. most I can get away with. Because they were so, when you were filling your scripts, they were getting, you know, like a dollar a pill. But if they sold, if he sold them to me, we'd pay him $3 a pill. Right. And then we'd go sell them at that time for 10 and 12. So. And, you know, what's funny is, like, I honestly, like, if that's what they're doing, like, I was thinking, like, if you get 30 pills in a bottle or something, like, you never break it out and count the pills. No, nope, you never break them out and count them. And most people don't take every single pill, especially when it comes to pain pillars, painkillers, right. unless you're an addict, of course. But, like, if my father was to get a prescription for painkillers, he would have them left for years because right. he would literally only take them when he needed them. So I don't know what they were doing, but... Yeah, I guess you know what? He could be like if you had a script and you hardly ever came in, but the script was on file, he could just start filling those and the insurance company or the person wouldn't know that their script had just been filled. Mm-hmm. And oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And if right. he didn't that's run it and if he didn't run it through their insurance, because like I had a girl who walked prescriptions for me, so I didn't and even she think had about that. she had Medicaid. So I'd take her to CVS. She'd use her Medicaid. It would cover the Roxy's, Oxy's, and Xanax fully. And then I'd take her to a mom and pop pharmacy because the pharmacies were not linked. Right. And she wouldn't use her insurance. So she could run two scripts like that. And she could use her insurance once and not use one. How much money would that be if you didn't have a habit? I mean, that would be... I, it would, I, I would have to write it down right. to figure it out. It's so much money. If you...